friends, it's Allison here from nicepeoplestamp.com. I'm happy to have you here today for my live crafting show featuring the new Stampin' Up! Holiday Catalog. It has just gone live today, which means you can shop all of the amazing goodies found in this catalog in my online store at shopnicepeoplestamp.com. So before I really dive into things, let me just make sure that I'm in the right place. I can see there's a mark on my camera, a little piece of fuzz. So I'm going to check and see if it is noticeable when I pull up the video. Let's see here. All right, it doesn't look like we can see any fuzz on the video other than, okay, let's see. Is the video paused? No, it isn't. Okay, looks like we're good. Yay, hello everybody. All right, so I am excited you're here. I have a fun video today. We are going to craft together and I am excited that the new holiday catalog, all of the new products have been uploaded into my online store. So if you're in Canada, you can shop with me at shopnicepeoplestamp.com. So what is the most exciting things going on with me right now? Well, most exciting, of course, is the holiday catalog, but I've also released a brand new online class using the gather together bundle. So that's this one here. So that bundle is absolutely gorgeous. It's perfect for fall. You know, it sort of reminds me of like pumpkin spice and sweaters and apple cider and pumpkin pie. And you know, it's that kind of feel. Yes, maybe you're in a part of the country that is, you know, full on summer still. It is still full summer here in Calgary, but it's never too early to start planning for the fall because it just sneaks up on us like that. And of course, Canadian Thanksgiving is always so early. And so you want to get yourself ready. So I have a great online class featuring that bundle, which I will share with you in a little bit. Um, I'll share the in the details of that with you in a little bit. Hello, Amy and Linda, and I can see Rachel and Joy are here as well. So thank you for joining me. I have had such a great time this morning playing, not this morning, well, like all day. So I got up this morning and I put in the order for the paper ribbon and embellishment share. So that's exciting. Those items are coming. Um, I can't remember if I got a shipping notice or not. I don't think I did. So it'll probably ship tomorrow. So super exciting that that stuff is on the way or close to on the way. I know a lot of you are eagerly awaiting those items. So, so fun. I was able to get that order in and nothing was on back order or anything when I ordered. So that's perfect. Um, then I spent some of my day creating and then filming videos. I had a little break and took my dogs to the vet. You'll notice when I'm, you'll probably notice when I'm crafting, I have like scratch marks all over my arms and actually a few on my chest as well because the dogs got their nails trimmed and Oh my gosh, it was like very dramatic, okay? I have very dramatic dogs. <laughs> All right, let me know when you get here, where you're from, and I would love to know what is everyone's favorite new item from the holiday catalog? I had already ordered a ton when I placed my demonstrator pre-order. So demonstrators got to order a month ago, actually over a month ago. We were able to order on August 1st. So I ordered a ton of stuff then, but one item that I forgot to order then that I really wanted um, was, let me just pull it up. Let me see here. Yes, the So Many Stars bundle. So this is the stamp set. Isn't that fun? And then I'm super excited about the dies. These are the dies right here. And they are stitched, stitched stars along with some other fun star shapes and flourishes. So I'm super pumped about that. So excited for those to get here. So I ordered those this morning as well as a whole bunch of other stuff. So very, very fun. My um, paper crafting retreat that is being held in Canmore. Registration is officially closed, but all that means is that the hotel has released any rooms that I had on hold for other guests, but you can still join us as long as the hotel still has space. So contact me if you would like to join the paper crafting retreat in Canmore. It's October 4th, 5th, and 6th. We are going to have a ton of fun and I will just double check with the hotel that there's space and we can get you all signed up. 
So it is such a fun weekend. I am already well into planning all of the fun things and it's actually World Card Making Day on that Saturday. So there's gonna be extra fun this time because I'm, I mean, we can't let World Card Making go by without some big excitement. So yes, that is gonna be a really super fun weekend away out in the Rocky Mountains. So if you would like to join us, just let me know and you can send me a message, send me an email, whatever works for you. And I would love to have you there. Okay, so, oh, the moose step. Yes, really cute. There's a moose stamp set and punch. Very cute. And there is a stamp set at the back of the catalog. And um, $4 goes to mental health organizations. So, of course, I will be getting that stamp set. Um, you know, I, it is such an important cause. And so, of course, I'll be supporting that. And I hope you guys choose to as well. So I'm ready to stamp. I just want to get in there, get inky, and create this fun card for you. We are using the Gather Together bundle. So that's the same bundle that I am using for the current online class. So that class was designed by my absolute, you know, crafting partner in crime, um, Robin Carden. She's in the US. She designed this class for us. So I'm super excited to share it with you. She, oh, I told her, she totally knocked it out of the park with these designs. So I was, I was very excited to get playing with this same bundle today in my studio. And yeah, the card design just came so quick and easy and there's just, it's so beautiful. I love this bundle. So let's turn the camera down. I am going to get crafting, okay? All right, I think we have that about right. So this is our gather together bundle. Let me just get my computer turned around here so I can see everyone. So Dawn, if you're asking about a class for the moose and the difference maker, I don't have online classes for either of one of those plans. So if those are on your list, I mean, of course plans change, but they are not on my list for online classes, just FYI. Okay, so here is our fun bundle. Let's look it up in the catalog. So in the catalog, it is on page 47. So this is where you see sort of the whole suite. So we've got the paper, the ribbon and twine, these fun tags and feathers elements, and then the stamp set and the dies. And then when you turn to the next page, which is 48, you can see the stamp set in its 100% sort of size. So it's true to size and then a much closer look at that designer paper. But I actually brought the designer paper to my filming area today because it is absolutely gorgeous and you've got to see it. So it's kind of one of those ones that, I mean, yeah, it looks great in the catalog, but when you really open it up and look, it's just so, so stunning. All right, hello, Miss Jackie Noble. How, how I've missed you, my friend. Okay, so this is one of the patterns in the pack. Okay, super cute. Oh, I've got it upside down, sorry. Those are our cute little pumpkins. I love anything wood grain, so definitely on board there. And then we have gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous pumpkins. So this looks kind of like a pool party with a pear pizzazz maybe really beautiful and then i love a good gingham so this is the other side gorgeous gingham and then we have a fun stripe and then i love this it's like a peacock and maybe pear again you know i could look on the back here it says the colors included are Cajun Craze, Early Espresso, Mary Merlot, Mint Macaron, Pear Pizzazz, Pretty Peacock, and Whisper White. There we go. All right. So, oh, you're welcome, Colleen. I'm glad it has arrived safe and sound. For those of you who I sent catalogs to, make sure you check your envelope well because I sent out coupons with some of the catalogs. I don't know who received them because I just put them in randomly. I folded them up with the letter from me. So make sure you look and see if you got a coupon. So this is really fun. It's kind of like a gingham slash plaid, love that. And then the gorgeous feathers. And then I think we have maybe one more pattern in here. Oh, maybe two, maybe two. Yeah, so here's this one. I love these pumpkins. So we've got, you know, sort of the, the brown vintagey looking background with the really, you know, blues and light greens. I just, oh, I so love this piece of designer paper. And then we've got some 
um, Cajun craze on the back. And then our last pattern in here is, um, it looks like kind of like dots on linen, which I think is really cool. And then our fun leaves on the background. So really, really beautiful package of designer paper there. So we are going to use some today for our card. So let's quickly go over our paper supplies that we're going to need. So I have my Whisper White card base. So this piece is five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter, and this is the thick Whisper White, okay? Then, let's just see here. Let's see if I can get you some more light. Brighten it up a bit. Maybe that'll help, okay. So that is our card base. Then I have that gorgeous piece of designer paper that was that wood grain one, and this is five inches by three and three quarters. So there's the other side there, that's the pumpkins. We're gonna use the fun wood grain. I also have a piece of gold foil paper. Sorry, the name totally just was like gone from my brain. So gold foil paper, and this is five and a half inches by half an inch. And then I have some scraps of crumb cake cardstock and a scrap of pool party. So we are also going to be doing some heat embossing today. Da -da! So I have my heat tool out. I'm really excited for this card. It came together really quick. I kind of was inspired by the holiday catalog. So you are going to love it. Okay, what should I do first? Let's stamp first. No, let's die cut first. Okay, I have my die cutting machine. So I'm just gonna bring that in. And my first step is I'm going to use the stitched nested labels, okay? And I'm going to use the largest one with my pool party cardstock. I'm just going to run that through and die cut it. There you go. You guys are so quiet today. Let me know what you've been up to. I know kids went back to school, so either moms are happy or upset, I'm not sure. <laughs> So I think they went back to school yesterday in most areas. And then, you know, if you have a graduated start, then probably it was full time today. I'm not really sure, but let me know how you're doing, mamas. Okay, so I have my two or my, you know, couple pieces of crumb cake, crumb cake scrap, but I'm going to do a little sponging. So I want to bring in just a piece of my grid paper because I don't want to get any ink on my table. So I have these three fun dies and these stand or they emboss and cut, but we're also going to do an added little thing and have them do some stamping as well. So what we're going to do here is take a sponge dauber and our crumb cake ink pad and we're just going to ink these up, get some ink on those dies. we go. So there's our first one, second, and then third. And it doesn't matter if your ink is really even or anything, you know, it's meant to have that really vintage fun look. So don't worry if it's not perfect. So we'll get one on there and another one on there. And then let's do the other one on this piece here. All right, so once we put them down on our paper, we don't really wanna move that around because remember they have ink on them. So we'll just gently, you know, squish it and roll it through. Okay, you guys are scaring me now that this might not be working because no one's talking. <laughs> I get this, you guys, I get paranoid. I know you're just watching, but sometimes I get paranoid that it stopped working because no one says anything for a long time. Okay. So we have our gorgeous leaves now. So these are die cut and embossed and inked. So they just have so much dimension this way. I just think they're absolutely stunning. So we can put those aside. Okay, good. Linda says, just watching. So yay. I don't have to be terrified that it stopped working. <laughs> okay, so let's bring in that piece of grid paper again. So I wanna do some stamping. 
Aw, Jackie, you're the sweetest. She says, watching closely and loving it. Okay, so here is our pool party piece that we die cut with those stitched labels. And here is our pool party ink pad. And I'm going to stamp our big leaf stamp. Okay, so we're just gonna stamp this a couple times and we're using pool party ink on pool party cardstock because we want something kind of subtle. There we go. And while we're waiting for that to dry, I want to take my, these are those tags and feathers, wooden elements, and these are super fun. So there's some sheets of feathers, okay? And then these sheets that are um, like wood slices, and I love them, and they're made of wood. See, they're like a, a wood bit. Anyways, so keep yours in the, what is this thing? Like in the, the thing, the, you know, the thing with the stuff in the template, template. Oh my goodness, you guys. It's been one of those days. I had such a great sleep last night, but I hadn't slept for a couple of nights before that. Um, just a little bit of insomnia. And so I'm a little bit scattered still. So I'm just tapping that with my embossing buddy because yes, we are going to heat emboss. So I have my Versamark ink pad and I have my sentiment. So I'm just going to ink up my sentiment and stamp it down. There we go. And then I have my gold embossing powder. And I'm just gonna dip that into my gold. Just give it a tap to remove any excess embossing powder, okay? And then let's heat set that. I haven't had my heat tool, well this heat tool on today, so it will take a little bit to warm up. So you're going to notice it'll go from this powdery look that I have now to a shiny gold. Yeah, it's starting to turn. I hope you can see it in the video because there's nothing quite like heat embossing. It's really so gorgeous. Okay, so there's our sentiment all done. And then I want to bring back in my pool party piece. Let's make sure we use that embossing buddy again. Okay, there we go. If you are enjoying today's live video, don't forget to join me every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Mountain. I, now that summer is, you know, it's not totally over, but it, it's finishing up. I am back to my regular live schedule. So Wednesday nights at 7 p.m., you can join me for some live crafting. So now I'm just adding these fun dots and we're going to emboss these in gold as well. Okay, so let's just pick that up. There we go. And dip that in. Don't forget the other side where we have some dots up near the top there. And then tap off any extra. All right. And let's move this out of the way before I dump it. <laughs> I've done that before. I don't know if it was on a live video though. Probably. Seems that's when I make all my mistakes. So we'll heat this up. So hopefully with this one, you can really see it turn from that powder to gold. It's just such a stunning transformation. Gosh, I love heat embossing. It's so beautiful. All right. So there is our pool party piece, just full of gorgeous detail. And we can assemble our card now. So let's take our gorgeous piece of designer paper. Love, love, love this one. So we're going to add some snail. Okay, and we'll just stick that onto our card base like that beautiful 
And now I'm going to flag the ends of this gold strip. So I'll just take that and I just cut up the center and then cut in from each side. There we go. And I actually want this piece to be centered behind this piece here. So it's easiest for me to put some snail on there and then center it just like that. It's just an easy way to make sure it's where I want it because I can line up these edges. So now let's take some dimensionals. So these are my regular size dimensionals and I'm just going to put some on the back here. There we go. Hello, Mary. Hello, everyone who's here. All right, so this piece, we'll just center best we can onto our card front. Doesn't need to be perfect. There we go. Okay, so now we have some fun elements to add. We've got our beautiful embossed wood piece. I mean, my goodness, how gorgeous is that? And the shine. Oh, I hope you can see it in the video. It just, it's really, really beautiful. So what I want to do is I want to put my leaves, I just, what I like to do is I kind of like to stage it how I want it and then I can put everything in place. So I kind of am thinking like that. Let's move this up a bit. Okay, I'm loving that layout. So what I'm going to do is remove that wood piece and then I have my Tombow multi-purpose liquid glue and I'm just going to put some under, you know, just sort of lift. Come on and put some under and then I have everything in place. Okay, there we go. So now I'm going to put a generous amount of my liquid glue on there. Make sure it really gets stuck because we're sticking it sort of on top of some layered leaves and some embossing. Plus it's wood, so it might suck up some of that glue. So I just want to be sure that it's going to stick. So that's why I was so generous with that. Okay, and then our last piece, let's add on some linen thread. So I've got my linen thread and I'm just gonna double it over and tie a double bow. All right, so there's that. We'll give that a little haircut there. And then I like to put on my linen thread and pretty much every ribbon with glue dots. So let's just get a glue dot on the back there and we'll just use it and cover up that little hole. And that is our beautiful card today. So I hope you love that. I really love how this card turned out. It is such a gorgeous stamp set and die set. So we're using, of course, the Gather Together bundle with the dies so it's the stamp set and dies so you can see it that's the sentiment I use we stamped and embossed and cut with those um, dies we used our big leaf stamp and we used our fun splatter so this is a really really great bundle it's a really fabulous one from the holiday catalog which of course was released today so you can get all the items you want from the holiday catalog now in my online store which is shop nicepeoplestamp.com However, I have an online class right now featuring the Gather Together bundle. So when you purchase this bundle plus the burlap ribbon using the class host code, you will receive the supplies to create six gorgeous cards plus a video from me for free on how to put them all together. So that is a bonus for ordering with me using that online class host code. So I will drop a link into the comments and the video description so you can see all the details about the online class. My online classes always fill up really fast and I'd absolutely love to have you join me for this one. This would be the perfect set to send out, you know, thank you cards, just fall, any kind of fall cards. The imagery is gorgeous. And then of course, think ahead to Thanksgiving. You can do table settings. Imagine this sort of look that I did here on the pool party piece as part of a placemat. I think that would just be gorgeous. Uh, place settings. 
things. Just there's so much potential here. And I really hope that you'll join me for that awesome online class. So everyone, it was a quick online crafty live show tonight, but I hope you had fun. I sure had fun with you. I will have another live show Wednesday night at 7 p.m. Mountain Time. If not before, I may pop in some other times, but of course that is the scheduled time when I will be here crafting for you and with you. So I hope you'll join me then. And in the meantime, make sure you keep checking back on my blog, which is nicepeoplestamp.com. Lots of fun always going on over there and I'd love to see you. Thank you so much everyone and have a great evening. Bye.